I just wanted to talk about this situation from Kobe Bryant. And it continues with this. Some stupid kid was likely that person to to create a change.org petition and well he was also on a news station called CBS 8 in uh, San Diego and uh yeah, there are some things that I might disagree with on the reason why that petition should never be made in the first place. So, without further ado here, uh, let's check the story. Backlash against a TMZ first. So the L.A. County Sheriff's Department called TMZ out for being the first to report the death of Kobe Bryant. Now there's an online petition calling for it to be canceled. News 8's Kelly Hesedal spoke with the person who started that petition and joins us now in our newsroom with why he started it. Kelly? Well, Barbara Lee and Carlo, his name is Will Larkins. Uh, he's 15 years old. He lives in Florida, so we talked to him via Skype. Now, he's pretty passionate about this topic. Uh, this is the petition that he started. Uh, he believes what TMZ did was wrong, and so far it appears more than 400,000 people agree with him. Just because more than 4,000 people agree with Will Larkins doesn't mean that TMC should be off the air for good. I mean, come on. Have you not heard of uh, something called, oh, right, freedom of the press? It's been this way for a long, long time. And, uh... May I remind you that Team C does have lawyers, so I don't know how you're going to come back from this. It would be extremely disrespectful to understand that your loved one has perished and you learn about it from TMZ. That is just wholly inappropriate. I was like horrified almost. I was like, how can they do that? 15-year-old Will Larkin says the thought of Kobe Bryant's family finding out about his death via Twitter. It's pretty heartless that they could just go out and say, hashtag breaking, like, someone died. He says what made it worse. People were tweeting at Vanessa saying all sorts of like, is this true, you know? And I was just horrified. I was like, that's so gross. So he started this petition at change.org calling for TMZ to be canceled. I just think there needs to be a little bit of a boundary, a little bit more respect, for sure. But TMZ founder Harvey Levin defends their decision to break the story. He says the tip came in from a law enforcement source and that Brian's wife knew about her husband's death before they posted it. Here's what he told KNX News Radio. I would invite the Harvey Levin here because he has lawyers and you know they're pretty much gonna fight for their rights to report any story that comes their way I mean come on he's been a lawyer for a long long time and he can basically pretty much sue you for uh, trying to Get them off the air for no reason. I mean, that petition is not going to help anything. We talked to Kobe's people, and we were dealing with them for an hour before we published the story, and they said, go for it. At a point, we were all trying to confirm it, and we confirmed it, but they all knew, and they said, go for it, and they said she knew. Levin then posed this question to the KNX radio host. If you found out that Kobe Bryant had died on a helicopter and confirmed it, um, would you wait eight hours until they, uh, they publish the names of the people? My answer is no, and that is the reason why the L.A. County Sheriff's Department should shorten their investigation down for two to four hours instead. Because I don't think Vanessa Bride would wait eight hours to get the confirmed information that her 
husband has died. I don't think the media would wait that long either after she gets it. Stop. Just stop for a minute. Slow down. Not everything has to be a story. I know it's like great for your business, but not everything is about making money. Sometimes you just have to be a moral person. Yes, Will Larkins, you do have to be a moral person, which is why nobody, not even Vanessa, should be informed in about eight hours after the investigation is completely finished. Now, I did reach out to the company that owns TMZ, Warner Media, about the Change.org petition. I did not get a response back. Now, if you would like to read the petition, we've got a link on our website at cbs8.com. Just click on the hot button. Carlo. Thanks, Kelly. Look, I know it's important for journalists to actually get the story. My waiting for the confirmed details. I also think it's important not to waste eight hours <clears throat> eight hours of your work day and uh, then get the confirmed information from law enforcement and then make that a breaking news story later on after the eight hours of inv of that investigation is done. Meanwhile, I do not think this petition would help at all because one thing for sure, and if you can see this tweet right now, I will read it because that person has the has that Twitter account and I'm going to read it to you now. It says, Team Z has violated the privacy of countless celebrities, but this time they have crossed the line. Team Z leaked the death of Kobe Bryant before the family could be notified by the authorities. Signed this petition to get Team Z canceled by Fox and Warner Entertainment. Um, yeah. I found this tweet from Oh My God Expose You, which is Will, the guy who is on the news. You know, CBS 8 San Diego. And, uh, I really don't agree with his way of thinking that this would be a good idea for Team Z to be canceled. Because for one thing, one thing for sure is that Team Z has... has Harvey Lynn, and he's a lawyer. And I'm pretty sure Harvey has hired a bunch of lawyers for Team Z, which means that Team Z will not go off the air. And plus, Team, Z, uh, Team Z's deal with Warren Media is supposed to be lasting for four more years. So, therefore, if you, if you want to cancel Team Z, well, you're wasting your time and you're wasting your breath. You wasted a petition. I mean, come on. Who wait? Who would waste their time to create a petition to can cancel a TV gossip show? And I think about for one second that they have lawyers. I mean, this is just really, really stupid of Will Larkins. 
I mean, he doesn't have a brain to think about what he's doing. It's just completely and utterly dumb. See, this guy, Michael Hampton, has the right idea. He says, the fuck is wrong with you trying to shut down a news outlet garbage as they are for leaking news? I'm not a Kobe fan or a Team Z fan, but you are creating a petition to silence. Is that what you stand for? Somehow I doubt that. Time to silence you. See, people like that are smart because people like that understand the freedom of the press. I mean, it's, it's all over the internet. If you read the freedom of the press, on a Wikipedia page somewhere, you would practically know why that Team C cannot be silenced. And for them being a gossip media outlet, a gossip celebrity media outlet, excuse me, if I might add, they have every right to publish any story that they know a tip from, which is why they know a tip from Wonder Law, LA law enforcement sources. And they completely confirmed it to TMZ, which is why Team Z then have to publish the story after getting a call from a source that they know, which you heard in that story. Now, let me read you another one from the person who also tweeted. Josh Bush writes, that's not what leak means. They broke the story, not leaked it. TMZ is not the problem. It's the Twitter craze instant news cycle we have, we the consumer have created. If TMZ were to stop, three more news organizations would pop up in their place. And then Kena Roberts had to tweet to defend Will Larkins, which is so stupid, by saying, I am sorry to say I agree with this statement. It's an issue with epic being crossed and consumed consumption. I am very sad for the countless families this has happened to. Yeah, I'm very sad too. But again, TMC has the freedom of the press. And if you try to engage in a lawsuit battle with TMZ for for getting a law enforcement source and not having to wait eight hours after the person died. Which is why the LA C County Sheriff's Department should be working on to shorten their investigation hours so that they don't have to inform the families eight hours after the investigation well, maybe TMZ wouldn't have to wait to publish that story. I mean, I know it's about getting the facts right. I know that journalists have to get the facts right, but they can't. I don't think anyone who needs to wait deserves to know eight hours later. I mean, for example, if Vanessa Bryant happens to keep calling her husband after eight hours of this investigation, then she would get mad at the police department who didn't tell earlier because Vanessa Bryant 
try to contact her husband all day and she would be extremely worried and she would have to call the cops to to like post an amber alert that her husband is missing. I don't want to see that happen at all. At the end of the day, you really got to work on, you know, informing the families earlier.